the Premier League keeps loading our weekends with lots of goals, as Juventus's emerging star continues to load the opposition with goals of his own. This and more makes 90 minutes top five of the weekend, back WAS1. Aguero is alive and scoring a lot those who counted Sergio Aguero out last season at the arrival, an impressive start from Gabriel Jesus, are looking very foolish just about right now. Aguero, aided by Jesus's absences, has taken the opportunities given to him as a starter once again, and reinforced the notion that this is still his team. The Argentinian has scored seven goals in seven matches, between Champions League and Premier League. More importantly, Aguero and Jesus have worked almost flawlessly together in the front of the city attack, and when Elkan has had to play as the lone striker, as was the case against Crystal Palace, Aguero showed he is still more than capable of doing so effectively. 2. 10 goals for the perfect 10 Speaking of Argentinians, does that number 10 jersey fit Paulo Dybala, or what? For the pressure, that comes with a jersey number donned by such Juventus greats as Alessandro Del Piero. Roberto Baggio, Michel Platini, the jewel has not only worn the jersey, but he has embraced the responsibility of leading the six-time defending champions of Serie A. Dybala became the first to reach the tingle mark in Italy with a brace in the Turin Derby against Torino. He has said that wearing the 10 has been a big boost in what has been a remarkable season for the Argentinian, who is gradually becoming the best player in Serie A and the chance to be one of the best in the world. 3. Diego Hu it did not take very long after the announcement of Diego Costa's return to Atletico for Alvaro Morata to make Chelseaites to forget about the soon to former Blues all star striker. The Spaniards' transition to the Premier League has been not just smooth, but nothing short of thrilling, especially in Saturday's rout of Stoke. The history between Morata and Antonio Conte's previous work at Juventus is well documented, but the growth and maturity of Morata as a killer striker since his days in Italy is tremendous. And at only 24 years of age, Murata has in front of him many goals for many seasons ahead of him in the Premier League for Chelsea. 4. Coutinho is back like he never almost left after Liverpool's 32 win at Leicester, it is safe to say Felipe Coutinho is officially back. How amazing it is to think that, not more than a month ago, Coutinho was set to become infamous in the eyes of Liverpool fans and win one mesmerising performance, the Brazilian picked up, right where he left off last season. Coutinho had a hand in every Liverpool goal, but he was especially active after both of Leicester's scores. Liverpool fans enjoy the playmaking Coutinho, who can resolve any jam with his great skill and knack for the clutch goal. That clutch goal came in the form of a beautiful free kick that earns Coutinho the goal of the week. See more videos 5. Good old man marking makes a cameo remember the old days of the suffocating defender stuck like glue to a team's playmaker all around the pitch for the entire match. Those days are long gone with the predominance of zonal marking, but every now and then, this ancient strategy makes a surprise appearance. It happened on Saturday, when Girona's Pablo Mafio received the unenviable assignment of sticking solely to Lionel Messi all game. Give credit to the Manchester City loney, as he was able to significantly limit Messi in this matchup. But since the beautiful game of soccer is played 11 v 11, the other 10 Barca players took care of the rest, and Barcelona came away with the three points, maintaining its perfect form in La Liga.